What if you could hear two black holes collide? That's what the LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, was built to do. Two giant L-shaped detectors in Louisiana and Washington with lasers so precise it can sense space-time stretching by less than a ten-thousandth of a proton's width. That's small. But LIGO isn't listening to sound. It's detecting gravitational waves, ripples in space-time. And it just caught the loudest one yet. Einstein predicted these ripples in 1915, but thought they'd be too weak to ever measure. That changed in 2015 when LIGO recorded the very first collision of black holes. Since then, upgrades to its mirrors and lasers have made it nearly four times more sensitive. In 2015, that precision paid off with the discovery of the clearest black hole collision ever recorded, the GW250114. These two black holes, each about 32 and 33 times the mass of our sun spiraled together for eons until they merged into a newborn black hole about 62 solar masses spinning 100 times per second. The merger rang like a cosmic bell. LIGO detected not only the main tone but also a faint overtone confirming Einstein's no hair theorem that black holes are defined only by mass and spin. Stephen Hawking also predicted that black holes can never shrink. The two OG black holes had a combined surface area about the size of Oregon around 240,000 square kilometers. The final black hole's horizon ballooned to nearly 400,000 square kilometers about the size of California exactly as Hawking predicted. Since 2015 LIGO and his partners have observed over 300 mergers, but this one gave the sharpest confirmation yet that Einstein's and Hawking's boldest predictions were right. This is only the start. The next generation of detectors could reveal the hidden nature of dark matter, dark energy. We might even learn if we exist inside a black hole or not. I'm ready for the universe's next mixtape. Are you? Subscribe for more fun science.